Hi, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the last week of April. Uh, this is Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading. You got the moon coming out. Um, if you want to enter to win a free reading on 424, go ahead and let me know in the comments. Otherwise, we'll get started. All right. Spirit, what does my Leo collective need to know for the last week of April going into May 2024? We are almost halfway through the year already. Holy moly. The moon and temperance. Okay, cool. Um, below, eight of pentacles. Behind, page of cups. Above, ten of pentacles. In front, you have two. Uh, the knight of pentacles and the ten of cups. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Um... Cool. What are you thinking about this situation? What are, um, sorry, this is what others are thinking about you in this situation. Ten of Swords reverse. And you're thinking in this situation, Five of Cups reverse, advice, the High Priestess, the outcome. Oh my God. This is so cute. The outcome, I'm sorry, is the Two of Cups. So you can kind of see it here. There we go. Wow. Um, you're listening to your intuition in a big way right now something came up from your subconscious regarding how you could approach a situation with temperance um you could be dealing with a water sign you really like anything water sign earth sign or water sign with earth and earth in their chart but you also are being crossed by sagittarius energy although this person does have the sun tattooed on their arm here so there might be something where through temperance, your subconscious, like, intuitive mind has been revealed to you. Below you is the work. Like, you've been doing the work. This card, the Eight of Pentacles, talks to me about spiritual work, about the work of, like, filling your life with good hobbies, um, surrounding yourself with good people, good food. Um, maybe even journaling or keeping a dream journal. This is like spiritual work. This is not the Eight of Pentacles that talks about busting your butt at work, although that can be part of your spiritual work. This is about you doing the inner work. She's holding this green candle that's halfway melted, and green indicates the color of the heart chakra um, on a hatha, which, which means unstruck. So... There's something about like it's like a drum that's been unstruck the res the potential for the resonance is always there you're waiting for something to strike your drum strike your fancy and like the page of cups in your past talks about this idea you may have had where you sort of thought like no nah, that'll never happen i'm not really like made for that um there's that pig flying above that bowl right and so this indicates some sort of emotional like wish fulfillment or desire especially in the heart space um where maybe you thought this person was out of your league um or like this kind of sounds a little bit like the scorpio reading i just posted the weekend vibes pigs will fly this weekend you might look at that reading um or go back and look at that reading but you have the ten of pentacles crowning you here it's like you understand what your ten of pentacles is and you're moving towards it or your ten of pentacles is here um this is indicating you've done the spiritual work let's see three six seven eight nine ten um those are the sephiroth or like the different like um like spiritual lessons on the the tree of life and the kabbalah you might be into kabbalah or know somebody who is um you might be into the occult a little bit but i feel like with temperance here it's like you understand who the moon is to your sun because you're leo right like you're you're the sun that's what you are and it's like you've had this realization about your moon um the knight of pentacles in the future with the ten of cups means you are slowly but surely planting seeds for your emotional fulfillment. It's like it's going to take a little while for this to sink in. That's what I'm hearing. It's here. 
and it's just taking some time for it to sink in. Yeah. Why is it taking time for it to sink in? The Seven of Cups and the Magician reversed. This is so interesting. It's like you are thinking to yourself, how am I going to make this happen? How am I going to make this work? Um, is this even what I want to happen? Is this even safe? Like if I lift up this red bowl, is it going to bite me? Um, yeah, you could also have been experiencing like some sort of awakening or um, an encounter with spirituality or again, you're doing like the spiritual work, some sort of spiritual awakening where your kundalini was rising and it has begun to move through like, oh shoot, I just dropped it. I'm just throwing that card. I'll get it in a minute. Um, maybe not. Let me get it. Hold on, Leo. Oh no. Okay, we got it. <laughs> it's like, maybe you thought that you had more work to do than you do because the magician is reversed here it's like you've literally already manifested it why do you feel like you have to do more let me see why do you feel like you have to do more then the king of pentacles you feel like you have to do more because you want to feel secure but you are secure you have the the knight of pentacles and the ten of pentacles You want to feel like somebody's loyal to you? It might just take time in this connection for you to feel like this person is loyal to you because of this page of cups in your past. Because you thought like either this person was out of your league or like subconsciously you had some sort of I don't know, almost like a desire to sabotage, or they did. But this person feels the same way you do. You have the Two of Cups. Intuitively, you know this. Ten of Swords reversed, Five of Cups reversed. No more wallowing, no more betrayal. Is this somebody you already know? Two of Cups. Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just, <laughs> that was an evil laugh. <laughs> um, this is somebody who you, you think this person's a player and they think you're a player. I'm so sorry that I laughed like that about this, but it's like, oh my God, it's like you two, um, like you think they're only wanting like something fleeting and they think you're only wanting something fleeting um which is why you're wanting loyalty from this person or it's going to take a while for it to sink in like it it just hasn't because you just couldn't believe that this person um wants to actually be your two of cups what's the ten of swords compassion oh the queen of cups um you might again be dealing with a water sign pisces Cancer Scorpio. Uh, it's like all here, all the water, all the water. Um, with the Ten of Swords reversed, if there was a situation regarding this connection where you felt like you needed to betray somebody or there was a potential for betrayal, you are displaying compassion and others can see that. Five of Cups reversed. Five of Swords upright. Wow. You're taking the emotional disappointment of a situation and then you're overthinking it. Or you're recognizing that it's just like negative energy, especially if you've been doing the spiritual work, you're like able to recognize now that like if you get these emotional drains um, where you just feel like down or low or like, well, I mean, if if you need um, help managing that please do seek out like the help of a professional you may need but this is like 
this is you realizing the power of your thoughts to influence the flow of your emotions. And your compassion for any negative self-talk for yourself, for any betrayal that's occurred in the past, especially in regards to this person, you may have done something to betray this person. Um, or vice versa, take it as it resonates. Obviously, um, I would never condone like going back to somebody who is not good for you or not healthy for you or unkind or whatever. Um, use your discernment. It looks like you are doing that with the high priestess and the moon. You're very much following your intuition right now. Two of swords. You may be feeling a little bit blinded. Six of wands reverse. You might even be feeling a little bit vulnerable and stuck. But I think that this is you. Eight of cups walking away from a situation where you have felt defeated. Oh my gosh. Admitting a truth and then moving, moving on into your emperor energy. The five of pentacles talks about how you have everything you need to get through the, oh my God, to the empress, to get through the door um, to your empress or vice versa, right? And you just need to plant that first seed and it'll move on like way more quickly than you thought. The hermit, go within. Two of pentacles reverse. Things are not balanced. You're feeling like a sense of heartbreak. You want something like more communal, more connected, connected. And you're feeling like cut off from emotional balance right now because you're having like major anxiety about keeping this tower from falling. This tower being a five of wands, a page of swords reverse, a ten of wands reverse, and an ace of cups. Okay, so this tower regards a community. Oh, nostalgia. Okay. This tower regards a community. You want to feel like more unburdened. You're kind of tired of like the baggage. Huh. And the page of swords reverse is like you're not really learning anything right now. Or like you feel like you're not really learning anything new in this like setting. But the you've been through the tower before. And knowing that the tower is kind of the next step in like moving forward. Um, and knowing that what's on the other side of this tower is facing these like negative self um, projections may make you a little bit emotionally unbalanced. This is a new emotional beginning though. And with the three of swords here, it's like you kind of need to allow um, those cracks, those fissures in your like self image to up here like they would in this tower so that the emotions can flow so the water can flow for this new infusion of like clarity and um life i'm hearing and this is being clarified by your eight of cups like walking away from some sinking bowls right um the seven walking away from your seven of cups these are all being washed away and you're moving towards your son or yourself your individuation by following your joy is what makes you happy and by admitting some sort of defeat and i don't think this is a defeat of like something you even wanted anymore um with the eight of cups here it's like a defeat of some sort of like ego identity that isn't really fitting you huh oh, okay and then we have the six of cups here and the queen of wands with the king of wands that's you divine partnership okay so that's interesting with judgment again another water sign you may have made a judgment call in the past that like this pigs flying connection was just like nostalgia or a memory and it was like just driven by passions and these unstable like flighty energies either within yourself or the other person or both like this could have been a past connection for sure judgment here can indicate resurrection and then this like soul releasing is releasing into a fully new expression of itself. So if this is somebody you've dealt with in the past, that could very well be like you walking away from something, moving towards someone else, this two of cups um, and rejuvenating the connection to create this empress emperor energy. I would say the one thing about this connection um, for you to be aware of is that it's going to require immense compassion for yourself as you move into the ability 
to face your, um, like the root of any self-worth or self-confidence issues. And I don't know that you necessarily have them. This is just coming up for a lot of people lately. Um, in the readings, I think that the five of pentacles coming up after the solar eclipse season and heading into the Scorpio, um, full moon, the pink moon is kind of about like eclipsing out any, even just like original traumas, like, um, like a, as you, if you were a baby and you were crying in your crib and then like your, your parents didn't hold you like within the two minutes of, of that, of, of you being used to being held or something. And you had to like cry a little bit longer. Like even that causes a trauma wound, right? Because we don't have the, like the neuro, um, scaffolding. That's interesting. The neuro scaffolding to like what is it? Organize that information. So it's just there in our like pre-linguistic emotional brain. Um, I think, I think that has to do with the limbic system as well. You might look into the limbic system or this thing called like their brain. That's interesting. That's an interesting thing to be coming up for this reading. But yeah, I think this connection is like a beautiful one, two of cups, empress, emperor with truth. And it, and it occurs because of some sort of surrender of yourself to like to what it is that's that's meant for you intuitively you know what that is you're afraid because like you feel you feel secure um in this connection and also there's a part of you that fears that this person might still be in their king queen of wands like past nostalgic like whatever you had in the past if you did have something in the past like you might fear that they're flighty or inconsistent, but this is also a projection of your, um, your self-worth stuff. Again, could be pre-linguistic, very, very deeply rooted, which is why you have the moon, the high priestess and the hangman here. Um, all major arcana for Pisces, which is very like emotional, intuitive, even like delusional. Right. And then you have these five, like the five of swords with this guy, like, ah, like being tortured by this, these thought patterns. So you're finally taking the blindfold off to how these thought patterns about yourself, like kind of allow you to like sabotage connections or self-sabotage connections. And if this is not somebody from the past, it's you learning from a past connection and like connecting with somebody new and understanding like right off the bat oh this is like that thing that happened in this past connection i'm not going to do that this time um and submitting some sort of piece of your ego identity to like spirit like walking away from that part of you not because you're not because you're denying it it's like you're integrating it you're seeing it from a new perspective and you're you're discovering the lessons it's taught you about how to speak kindly to yourself um, and about this other person and what they think about you or what you think they think about you, giving them the kindness of the benefit of the doubt, because not because it's just something they deserve, but because that's what they're showing you. Like you're not attaching your own projections to this connection and you're not allowing those projections to interfere with your sense of security and safety in emotional connections anymore. Woo. All right, Leo, that's your reading for the end of April. Let me know how it resonated. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.